with the with music is easy to it's easier to lock in you know what I mean cause you can enjoy your own music on your time or like you can you know what I mean you could you could work on it without the people being there you can get better right. and so then when you got the people there you get in ear monitors you know what I'm saying and you got so you got the shit right into your fucking brain and so when the shit is going right into your sh you can you in there and it don't really matter what's going on in the room you can lock into the to the song in a way that you can't with like comedy you can catch that vibe sometimes if you riffing or something and they, they really rolling you can have those moments but it's it's tough to like constantly have it and it's work to constantly have it versus like if you like your songs and you believe in your shit and the shit's right going into your brain it's you could be in a whole in a whole nother world when you when you when you there was was comedy like exhausting you like were you over comedy and I could feel that I was not in it you know what I'm saying mm. like I was up there you know and I didn't I wasn't I wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't joyful mm -hmm. and so you can't I can't be in that that zone cause it's not about the like yeah I couldn't like keep doing it especially with, with what people pay for my tickets I can't just be out there like you know half assing and that's where I, where I felt like I was doing. I was just going out there. So yeah, it was just you know shifting in it and and, and yeah, the like, music's a rebirth. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And was it like uh, overwhelming almost? I guess like the the sort of popularity of it and with movies and shit. Like was it like is it a relief to be sort of starting back at like zero with music? You know, versus like you know the comedy had got you like such a i don't know so it's much notoriety and the movies and everything it's a yeah it's like a you can just it just hits differently man just to to be able to just capture different shit in that way work on it and different topics all type i talk about you know playing basketball <laughs> talk about playing basketball, talk about bowling, talk about veneers, talk about, you know, I'm able to reflect on things in my comedy career, addictions, gambling in a way where some of the songs are funny, but I don't always have to play for that, that laugh or I could, you know, you could use detail and, and other things being specific about without, mm -hmm. you could have, you know, I just, uh, yeah, I just didn't, you know, enjoy it in that in that way, and yeah, I mean, who don't? I, I might get back into it at another time, like fully. So it's not a, but it's just, it is a, is this thing because like you know, after, you know, in, in especially in this phase, that's you know where the what people have seen and know, you know, they, okay, we know that can make money but a dog hey come do a comedy like so it's like it's having it's having it's having a conversation over and over like no I want to do music at that shit like hey can you come to me like I don't know you want me to do some songs yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll give you some strong banter you some but that's strong all you strong banter in between I ain't trying to just come talk at you can you come to that nice I really I'm giving a banter to, with music behind yeah, it I don't really want to come through and tell it uh, but it's, it's you know one of the bits in the the video I watched last night was you were talking about going to a Riff Raff concert yeah. and how he had his DJ playing his songs in which he was rapping mm -hmm. but he was just sitting there listening to his own music yeah. in front of a huge audience yeah. and you said man that sounds like an easy night to work I'm going to try it right now and you had uh, the DJ play your own stand up and you just stood there listening <laughs> to your own stand up and said uh huh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah the yeah. pickle juice like it, that yeah it, yeah exactly and yeah. Uh, it, it occurs to me that with, you know the way that you know, I do I do the comedy and I do the stunts and I've mixed them together into this multimedia show yeah. I gotta believe that it's that you don't have to be forced to be oh well, am i here to do comedy or am i here to do yeah. music like why not 
marry your worlds together and just have it be like just a, a night of entertainment. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I think it's, and it's, you know, it's an internal thing more so than anything versus, you know, any real forces. <laughs> it's more of a uh, shift in identity. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, right. like oh, because I've been doing, I started doing stand up when I was 19, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 39, so it's just, that was the... So did you start to resent the pressure of like, come be the funny guy? Not the pressure, it was just, I think you, not the pressure of it. Just burn out. It's just like... When you go up on stage now for music, are you nervous and excited and like, fuck? Excited, yeah. Also too, right now, you know what it is? I didn't want to end up <laughs> doing... I, as much as I, I love the the ideas that I have from from Parenthood, I feel like if I did stand up now, <laughs> I would be getting into dad mode too mm -hmm. of it. I mean, and, and that's a, that's also a choice or decision too. But that's where a lot of the the new stuff would be coming from. I think that uh, that's great too. <laughs> I've got a bit about getting a vasectomy, and when I do it, I find myself thinking, "Man, getting a vasectomy, I I'm a." a sort of um, limit I, if I had kids I'd have all this great material from having kids yeah. and I got a vasectomy that just kind of you know but you got material from that too that's true you know yeah Yeah, and I mean, it's just me overthinking all the time yeah. but but yeah, I, I'd be interested in in, uh, in your dad mode comedy yeah it's I would a, love that it's a it's a it's a it's it's dope seeing a uh, seeing the growth yeah seeing her you know she just turned one yeah but then again dude there's like the, there's the there's some comedians that have like old material about their kids and now their kids are like 18 and, and kind of like wait a second you know like Big J had uh, like a, a bit about his, his daughter cutting holes out of her underwear mm -hmm. he's like why is there holes in your underwear and she was embarrassed of her skid marks and mm -hmm. actually took scissors and cut right I which was a it. super funny bit yeah but i think his daughter's like 18 years old now <laughs> right yeah you gotta like grow with the kid the material has to grow with the kid yeah yeah that's yeah where it's like you don't want to you know right <laughs> yeah it's like i got this one-year-old joke but now i got a four-year-old yeah, yeah is it, oh, and, and then yeah you could also it, potentially not, scar them with right. well, that too, yeah. Right, right. I'm not, yeah, right. I'm not, I'm not talking that. about the material growing yeah. with the kid. I'm talking about the kid being horrified about oh, okay. the existing material about them. Yeah, yeah. That's a that thing with stand up where there, you know I became more conscientious of it at, earlier on because it was jokes I've done about family, just thinking like in fun, <laughs> right? And, you find out folks mad. You find out these things. You're like, oh man. So, it does kind of, on a on a personal level, make you like, okay, is this bit uh -huh. worth like that? Is it is it worth that just to to entertain in that in that way? You know what I mean? Like, oh, for, is this person's uh, you know versus you know maybe in 2011, 2012. Uh, didn't think of that too much. It was like, whatever happens, motherfucker, that's the set. This is life. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Shit. <laughs> whatever, anybody can get it. God damn it. Right. And now it's like, well, you know, is you can you can write from wherever you could come up with or whatever. So you you know, it's more uh, consideration. And uh, right, and man. I, I remember you know, and, like, and you know, in music you can use metaphor a little bit more and, yeah. and that could be subtlety and, and, and multiple meanings on things you could you could hide stuff a little bit where uh, and you could protect people I think that clip was awesome but not as awesome as my new book A Hard Kick in the Nuts What I've Learned from a Lifetime of Terrible Decisions which is out September 27th and if you pre-order it right now you can get the autographed copy so 
Get on it, man. Pre-order my book. It's not going to waste your time because I'm proven, dude. New York Times bestseller. My first book's five-star rated on Amazon. And I have no doubt this one will be, too. So get the autographed copy right now by pre-ordering it at stevo.com. Yeah, dude.